Howdy, folks. How y'all doing? Hey, um, I've got I've got a crazy expensive battery here, and I got one real dirt simple question to ask: Is it worth it? Four hundred dollar battery sitting here. Uh, most most money I've ever spent on a battery, but not if you have my years of failures of uh, big old name brands. You know the ones that. Uh, this thing is going to replace. I have replaced some batteries in my time. I am an ex, well, I guess you could say ex, uh, master technician. Used to do this automotive crap every day of my life for a living. And I'm here to tell you, I have replaced some batteries. How many have I replaced in the last 12 years? Just going on the last 12 years, because that's, that's where I've had the mo most trouble in my entire life here. How many batteries do you think I've replaced in the last 12 years? Well, I'm here to tell you, all of them, <laughs> okay? <laughs> How many of those batteries that I replaced in the last 12 years died in one year or less? All but one. Now, I can tell you because, well, I did keep track of this. I replaced 10 batteries in 12 years, from automotive to garden tractor and damn near everything you can think of in between, you know, small uh, sports equipment and that, and that kind of jazz. And every one of them, every single frickin' one, except for one, has died within, well, within 12 months. So I said, I'm done with that. I learned the hard way with my tractor, for example. I put a, uh, an AGM type battery in that and solved the problem. I've been running that battery for years. Never, never died once. <laughs> I don't do nothing to it all winter long. It just sits. And then spring comes, I go to start the tractor. And of course the carburetor's out of fuel, so you gotta crank it forever until it finally gets enough fuel to light up. But the battery just sustains, it just works. It, it, it'll just crank, <laughs> thing just works. Now it was, for the tractor anyway, it was probably three times the cost of a regular tractor battery. You know, for example, I think that was $80 when tractor batteries are going, you know, 25-ish, 35-ish, something like that. But this thing, oh man, you know what? <laughs> this is one heavy-ass battery. <clears throat> yep, this is one heavy-ass battery. Oh my God. Uh, I forget the weight on this thing, but I'm here to tell you. It's a whole lot heavier than it looks. I have replaced some batteries in my time, and this one, this is the heaviest little battery. <laughs> look, I mean, look at it, it, it's, it ain't big. It's a 65 group. My God, the thing is heavy though. Um, why is it so damn heavy? Well, because supposedly it's all virgin fresh lead, right? It's supposed to be, anyway. It's got a four year warranty on it. Almost nothing that, well, I, literally nothing else that I saw has that kind of a warranty. Brass posts, not lead, brass posts. Uh, virgin lead, and it's not, it's not a lead alloy, it's just, you know, actual virgin pure lead. Most of the crap you're buying nowadays, you know, it's some sort of an alloy. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, I've had one battery that worked for me in the past 12 years. And I've used all the big three in my area, and I live in Pennsylvania, so. I'm talking about DECA, Exide, and uh, Interstate. Those are the big three available to me. And I mean, they're a global company, so you know, it, it, they're available to you as well. Ain't none of them except one piece of crap, and it is a piece of crap, but it's still working. One piece of crap DECA battery is still working in my wife's car. The rest of them, dead. I'm spending megabucks. This is the most expensive battery, literally, that I could find for my truck. Um, is it worth $400? Well, I don't know. But what I do want to know is its state of charge right now. So let me uh, throw a meter on it and we'll check that out. All right, let's check out some voltage here. I'm uh, not on AC, huh? <laughs> DC scale. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I will, uh, I will move you closer. Once I know what I need to know, how? Huh? 12.86. Alrighty, let's do some contortionism here and beat some glare, kind of 12.86, 12 right? Right out of the box, that's, uh, that's what she reads. 
Uh, by SAE standards, 12.6 is a fully charged battery, so I expect that to, you know, crank like no other. <laughs> it better for $400, right? Now, I guess we're gonna find out, is it worth it or not? And I can't tell you in a day, a week, or a month. This is gonna be a very, very long-term review, if the battery lasts. Or I should say, as long as the battery lasts, that's how long the review is gonna be. I'm gonna update it every year, give or take. And uh, I'm either gonna, I'll probably do it both. I'll probably do, make a short little video and I'll just make this a multi-part series. I'll up, er, update this every year with a short little video, but I'm always gonna do it down in the description as well. So people are getting eight, 10 years out of these things, supposedly by the reviews that you read. They got almost five-star ratings everywhere. So I don't know, we'll find out if it's a $400 battery or not. But um, anyway, let's go throw this in my pick -em up truck. The thing this is gonna live in for ever and ever and ever. All right, well, here's the basic uh, problem, you see. There's a, a legend sitting here, that uh, Napa legend. <laughs> Legendary piece of shit, if you ask me. Uh, date code, 622. Today is uh, February something, February 12th? Yeah, 12th of February, 2023. So, you know, it didn't even make it a year. As per usual, as per my experience in the last 12 years, nothing, nothing but AGM batteries seem to survive. This will start my truck on a nice warm day today. Like, you know, I'm out here, I'm wearing short sleeve shirt and sweatpants, you know, it's pretty mild today. When we start touching freezing temperatures, guess what? Stone dead, won't do nothing. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I'll get an interior light stick the key in, turn the ignition on, and you know, the dash just goes out. Everything just goes out. Leave it sit, let things warm up, you know, on a nice 50 some odd degree day like today. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll actually work. That's the common mode of failure for piece of crap batteries. It just is. When it gets super cold, when it's critical, when you really need them to work, that's when they fail. Yeah, so, you know, what's being stranded worth to you? Um, I'll tell you what, it's worth 400 bucks to me to not be stranded. You know what I mean? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, typical, basic, general, run-of-the-mill lead-acid battery. Um, you know, nothing special. I installed, I'm going to install the new one the exact same way I installed this one. And uh, just give you one little pointer here, I should say, if I can. When, uh, oh man. There we go, there we go. When, uh, when you take these out, you know, just, just do yourself a favor and uh, never seize them. I've got, you know, some never seize on there and I'm gonna never seize it again. Just because, you know, it, it might live, you know, six, eight years, maybe even 10, who knows? I don't know. But uh, I guarantee you this will be, you know, this will be all nasty and rusty like it was the first time I pulled this thing out. Just never seize it. And you'll thank me six, eight, 10 years down the road when you gotta take it out again. It won't be all rusted stuck. Uh, baby little eight mil or six mil. Nah, that's a six mil bolt, eight mil head. You'll snap that right off, you know what I mean? That and uh, a little bit of my favorite stuff here. Uh, just um, dielectric grease, just smear it on the terminals. I clean them up, which I will with my uh, wire brush, my battery terminal brush there. And you know, I'll clean up you know, both ends the same way as I did when I installed this one. And then I just smooth it up a little bit with, uh, you know, some uh, dielectric grease, smear it on the terminals, put it back on and boom. Anyway, uh, that's all I can, you know, give you for pointers or tips. If it's gonna corrode, it's gonna corrode. Nothing's gonna stop it. There's that uh, spray, spray on uh, anti-corrosive stuff. Ah, that doesn't work either. <laughs> it all works about as well as anything else. Just use a dielectric grease. You know, if you got it laying around, it's best stuff that I've found to use for terminals anyway all electrical connections, period. So, all right, uh, got, let's get this thing installed. All right, so, you know, that's that. Do not be afraid to use the schmoo. I just recoded that with some never sees, so hopefully that it never seizes. But, uh, you know, if you got the schmoo, use the schmoo, you know what I mean? And if you don't got the schmoo, get the schmoo. You need the schmoo. <laughs> Anyway, I got the terminals lubed up and I just got to uh, install this one like show and there we go. Alrighty. 
Last little bit here is to uh, make sure you mark your date code there. This is February of 23, so actually you gotta pop off those stickers right there. And, uh, well, I guess the final, final step is, will it start? I don't know, let's find out. Get my keys. So there's really nothing more to show and tell about this, I guess, right? It starts, it runs, it's, uh, yeah, pretty much done. Now, like I said, this is gonna be a long-term review. So, well, it's gonna take until the battery dies. That's when that's when I'm gonna finally, you know, finish off this review. But, uh, you know, I'll update every year. Look in the comments section. If there's news, I'll post it there. Um, and I'll, like I said, I'll try to make a, a short, sweet little update video once a year on it just to let you know what's going on. But most of the time this thing's been sitting. So that's about the worst thing you can do for a battery is let them sit. I run this truck about once a month just to, uh, you know, get everything up to temp. But most of the time, I mean, I, I barely put 250 miles on it this year, just this year. So, I mean, it, it doesn't get used much. So this will be one proper test, I think, of uh, this very expensive battery. We'll find out if it's worth it or not, but all indicators point to yes. But, uh, all right, so, you know, give me one of these things and uh, or one of those, I guess, if you don't like it. But, hey, I'm doing my best here to, uh, you know, show and tell the true story, how it really is in real life. <laughs> we don't do things in stars, we do them by numbers. So I'll rate this thing when, uh, well, when, when eight years passes, if it's still turnkey drive truck, I'll give it a rating then, I think. All right, thanks for hanging out, guys, and uh, hey, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>